Body Units, it's in Jackie Yankill with another video and it's art related. I've been asked about this video many, many times. I'm not even kidding. The amount of responses and questions about it. You guys wanted me to remake this video again. And I said, of course. Like, I'll do it for you guys because this was done a couple years back. But you guys wanted more of an explaining video because you guys are used to that. So I'm going to still use the old clips from before. But also telling you about it step by step what you need to know. So like, comment, subscribe below. And here's how to make your own Naruto O see in good quality okay so step one the first step out of all steps is having two sources of art apps okay and that includes MS paint and Photoshop the reason why I say Photoshop is because of the coloring aspect of it if you have any other coloring source that is fine but the coloring won't come out as good on paint than Photoshop so that's why I recommended the two Another reason why I recommended MS Paint is for the outlining of the drawings first because Naruto's outlining is very sharp lines and Photoshop may include that if you could but I'm more comfortable with MS Paint because of the quality after and it's easier to paint on. Step number one, grab an HD picture of whatever you want from Naruto. I grabbed a few pictures of Naruto. I made sure to save it. It's all HD quality. The reason why it needs to be HD is for better quality pictures of it. You can also resize your image so it can be HD, change the revolution and stuff like that so you can see the picture more better. So once you have your HD quality picture, head on over to MS Paint. Now the first thing you want to do is of course have your character ready. Once you have your character ready in your head, you can start outlining. Choose the character you want to outline. It's just about the position. Each image has a character with a certain position you want them in. So for Jackie, which is Jackie Monero, my character, I chose this picture in specific. So she's on top of Kakashi Sensei. So I wanted that as her position. But of course, I had to make some modifications so she doesn't look like that. In. So that's what I did. But I only used outline green, so make sure the color you're using is neon green because it helps with the erasing process. Once you're done outlining your character, make sure everything's set, good to go. You're going to do the erasing part. Now what you're going to do is save the picture as. Save as, okay? There's a little thing, of course, with the formats. So in case you don't know what formats are, is what you save your picture as. There's different formats to save a picture in. There's JPEG, there's PNG, which is also what we're going to use later, and there's other ones. I changed it to 16 map. Make sure it says 16 color bit map, okay? That's what you're going to save it as. And then it's going to change the screen color to this kind of look. So the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to right click it, okay? Grab the color you want. You can use the little grabby color to grab the color and then start erasing, but right click and erase. Now, I know people are annoyed with this process, but this is the only process that works best with making your image look good, and you'll have everything. You can also crop and ask, you know, access the other parts and crop them out, but the most important part is erasing the little bits of your character. This is the annoying process, but it makes your image look great at the end, and it's worth it because you get the position and shape as the actual Naruto character. Next thing you're going to do is, once you're done erasing everything and your screen looks good and it's only showing the character, you're going to then click the black color and then switch the green color to black. That's all you're going to do. Once you're done with that, is make any little justifications on your character, any detail you want on it, draw that in there. And then you're going to click save as PNG. You're going to be changing the format to PNG so it's easier, not JPEG because it would become low quality. PNG so it's HD and is able to be transferred. Now that we're done with the drawing process, we're going to start with the coloring process, which is why I introduced to you Photoshop. Now Photoshop has a whole bunch of modifications such as erase in the background and then, you know, coloring in a good, you know, you know, way, you know, instead of like all these plain solid colors. You got so much to work with in Photoshop. Do that you're going to be taking and opening the pictures of the HD quality Naruto photo you got plus the image of your character. There's an erase button tool to erase the background. Erase the white background that you have. It should be white. Erase the white background that you have. 
and it should just be your character. Now you can start coloring. If you know how to color, you know how to color. Once you're done with that, this is the simplest part. Use the grab tool. The grab tool is going to help you transfer your image to the other image. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Very simple, very easy. It seems like I'm talking much more details about it, but that's all you have to do. The thing is, I know some of you guys may not have Photoshop, and that's okay. Some people use paint to color, some people use other painting sources. Now, if you don't have all these tools, you can find a painting source as long as you color your Naruto OC. And I'm going to give you two websites that you can use that isn't Photoshop that will help you transfer your image. This is an eraser background website, so it's going to help you erase the background for your character. And then you can use Pixlr, which is a free editing app where you can also add pictures. When you click the double um, image icon, you can add pictures in there and then transfer your Naruto OC there too. I know that there's a couple of steps to doing these things, but this is the only way your Naruto OC will look top notch, good, and good quality. If anyone has any more questions, this is more of an updated video, so there shouldn't be questions, but I hope this helps for all those who was asking this question. Like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.